Welcome to our lesson about creating curves through XYZ points. Let's go to Insert, Curves, and select Curves through XYZ points. The Curve File dialog window opens, where we enter the X, Y, and Z coordinates of our curve at various points we specify. We simply double-click to activate the input area. Tab to the next line to add more points. Let's add another point. While we enter, the preview appears in the graphic area. Let's click Browse. We're also able to export points from files. The files of extension .sldcrv are curve files, a native SolidWorks file type. We can also use a text file to import the curve data. Let's cancel out and then click OK. To edit the curve, Simply right-click on the feature in the design tree and select Edit. You've also got the option to save the curve. Let's call it Curve of Type SolidWorks Curve File. Save. I've opened Notepad. Let me bring it into my recording screen. Let me drag the SolidWorks Curve File right into Notepad. We can see that it's an ASCII file type. And let's close Notepad. By the way, the file path displays near the top of the curve file dialog window. And let's click OK. Now I'm going to open a curve text file that I created earlier. I'm working in Notepad. I'm going to input some rows of data for the points. I'll separate my entries with tabs. Last line. Six. 7, and 10. Let's save our file. Now let's insert a second curve. Insert, Curve, Curve through XYZ points. Select Browse. File type, Text. And here's my curve.txt file. We've opened it. Here's a preview of the selected curve. Let's click OK. Let's right-click and edit Curve 2. From the Curve File dialog window, I'm going to make some changes to the coordinates. Let's change the values for the second point to 10, 10, and 10. Now let's save the file. Let me reopen this file in Notepad. As you see, the new point values were saved. Let's click OK. And this concludes our lesson about curves through XYZ points.